What's up, guys? It's Brian from Hashra Hub. It's about 9.05 a.m. Eastern Time, February 23rd, 2018, coming to you with a trading video. But first, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, like, comment if you guys are on uh, YouTube, upvote and re-steam if you guys are on DTube or Steam It. And even if you're on YouTube and you feel that this is uh, super valuable to you, you, we would love you guys to subscribe and, and upvote us on, uh, on Steam It or DTube. Links are down below. Just um, just makes us feel all warm and fuzzy inside. <laughs> so um, next thing I want to also mention as well is um, I have our uh, my my email address right here. I I mentioned last night that um, we have some Ant Miner D threes and S nines, and I know a few people have emailed us on that. So I know I need to I need to get back to you on that. So my apologies, I haven't done that just yet. Um, but if you guys, if anybody is interested in those, uh, we do have some. It's going to be first come, first serve. Um, and, uh, yeah. So another thing I want to, I want to mention is, like I said, we're going to be having giveaways. And the giveaway is probably going to start this weekend. And it's, we're going to pick from the people who, who obviously, you know, um, you know, you know, subscribed, you know, liked and commented on the, on, on the videos. Um, but the pool of people in which we're going to pick from are going to be the ones that are commenting. So um, obviously, you know, we would love it if you guys were to subscribe and, and, and hit the notification bell and like the video. Um, but um, the way in which uh, we can we can pull people as far as the pool of people we can pull from uh, are going to be the ones that uh, who have who have commented. So in order to be kind of entered even though it's not a contest um, it's a giveaway but in order way to be kind of entered you got to comment uh, something um, good bad or indifferent uh, <laughs> comment something so uh, that's that's uh, you know gonna catch us up there also what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to give kind of more of my bullish or bearish sentiment on a daily four hour and a one hour basis um, I'm gonna try to adhere to that as much as possible going forward and my apologies already if I don't, um, but I know that you know a lot of people are looking at it on those three, on those three um, time frames. There are some people that are day trading, but to day trade, um, you know, it's it's difficult for me to give my sentiment because by the time I go ahead and I get the video out <laughs> from a day trading perspective, um, it, it it can change rather drastically, even on a one hour basis, um, four hour basis too, daily, it could change, but the likelihood of it changing in the, in the, in the 20 minutes, you know, half hour that it takes for me to, to make the video and also kind of, uh, you know, render it, produce it and get it out. It, you know, there's a less of a likelihood of it, of it changing there. So sorry for, uh, for all the updates. Um, let's get, let's get right into it here. So everybody knows what's going on here. We made a whole bunch of videos about it. Last time we left off, we were right here on, um, at, at the bottom right here. We're going to change this to a one hour chart and, and zoom in a little bit. I believe this is an A, B, and a C. Before last night I had written it a little bit different as this is an A, B, and a C. And that was a little bit wrong. The reason why this is a little bit wrong is because there's clearly five waves right here. Um, and this was kind of our, our secondary, but um, just to kind of make that video really quick, I just called this an ABC real quick because it really isn't going to do very much harm uh, because um, it's the it's all the same result in the end. So really to do this correctly, this is an AB, this is an ABC. That's what I believe it is. This is an also an A, B, and C. Uh, there's five waves going up here, so this could make an X. Now, you never heard me probably say X all that very much. Um, and this is stuff that we're going to need to make in, in training videos. Um, but obviously, all, everything I tell you is with respect to the way in which I'm looking at it. So um, in order for you guys to learn, I don't feel it's really the right venue uh, for, to learn some of these, these, these larger concepts by, you know, a 10-minute a video or a, tw or, you know, a 15-minute video. It's something that needs to be much larger than that. I need to do, I need to do the theory justice. So when... We had left uh, last, I think we were right about here, and I said I drew this yellow line right here, thinking that there was a very good chance that the market was going to move up. It did exactly that, and it did it. Um, I thought this was pr a pretty steep line, and it, you know, it, it adhered to this line, and even here, it just kind of took off even more. The volume has come in, come in a little bit more. In the beginning, there was very little volume. I think most people thought that there was going to be um, a, um, a, a, you know, a, a larger fifth wave here. Let's kind of zoom in a bit more, um, and it never really ever, never really ever happened. 
all right um, candlestick analysis is very good for these types of for these types of um, decision points okay um, it's 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 very good you can see there's a doji right here okay and dojis at at at, at, at decision points like support lines or resistance lines mean a lot. If it's the kind of in the middle somewhere, it doesn't really very mean very much. Candlestick analysis overall doesn't mean very much unless it's really at these large decision decision points. Um, and and really when I, you know when I'm day trading, I'm looking at stuff like this. Um, you know, right here, this is this is like a, a tweezers right here. This kind of tells you is the market's going to pinch right up. Okay. Um, and that's one of the first training videos we're going to do is specifically on candlestick analysis because if you don't know that, then you should really stop. Um, that's, 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 that's a number one type of thing you need to know right off the bat. Everything builds off of that. So <clears throat> volume was light right down here, um, especially on the bull side. On the, bear, on, the, on the bear side, obviously the volume was um, was was kind of big as this is coming down right here, which may, may have scared a lot of people, but it, it then kind of started moving up, obviously from there. The uh, Laguerre RSI kind of kind of caught it really well, um, I would say so. Um, you know, this is on a 30-minute basis. If we look at things on an hourly basis, it caught it really well uh, um, to uh, as well. So um, it broke through the bottom of this channel, the RSI channel, which I had mentioned that it will. It will probably do that in the event that this thing moves up higher, um, and it, it did it in very quick succession uh, with very little kind of you know moving around at all. Um, yeah, okay, over here we had a little bit you know testing of this, and this is good. This means that we kind of picked it right. Um, as far as you know, if you're day trading this, you're looking at this on a 30 minute at least, uh, 15 minute basis, um, and so you want to see this. You want to see this come up and kiss right here, right? And then you see. And, you, and you're reading these candles on a you know on a three minute, one minute, five minute uh, type basis, and you know you're trading all of this stuff. So this is what this is when I draw these levels. This is this is really kind of where a lot of this stuff can really be used, um, uh, to say the least. Um, so next, uh, when I started kind of putting this video together, this was all happening right here, and I was h hoping and thinking uh, that this was going to kind of uh, come up here. Uh, this could be just a head fake. And one of the things you need to do, especially with candlestick analysis, especially with technical analysis, you have to wait for the candle to end. I'll say that again. You guys have to wait for the candle to end. Don't 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 buy here because this could very quickly just come back down here, and this is just you know a fool's trade. Um, even on an hours basis, you need to go ahead and you need to wait for this thing to end. You need to go ahead and see that this thing is going to come back down a bit, you know, retrace or you know so on and so on even if it kind of blows off and continues up you're gonna have another time to get in at a lower risk entry that's what it's that's what trading is trading is all about getting in at a lower risk entry not a higher risk entry you want at least a three to one meaning three your 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 profit potential to your risk to be three to one at the least ten to one is really where i love it it's where you get excited five to one is you know where where you like the average one to be. So on a one hour basis, obviously the Laguerre RSI, <laughs> the Laguerre RSI is uh, <laughs> is, is uh, hitting its tops right here, and um, it's going to uh, 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 possibly kind of turn right over here. Well, we're gonna have to see what's going on with the RSI. See if the RSI kind of continues up a bit more. I'm getting pretty. Pretty bullish on a um, on a daily basis. Yes, on a daily basis for some time now. I'm getting. I was getting a little a little bullish, and that doesn't mean this thing is going to run up to twenty thousand dollars. No, it may run up to you know eleven thousand bucks. You know what I mean? But right now, that's kind of kind of where I'm at. Where do I think where I'm not going to get bullish? If the market comes down to about a ninety four hundred level, um, you know, kind of lower uh, lower than here, but lower than a ninety four hundred level. I'm not going to be so bullish anymore if it starts to kind of go ahead and, and, and come below the 9400 level. 9400 level is right about here. Okay? And that's, you know, pretty much the body of what's going on right here. Um, 9400 level, if it kind of closes below there, stays below there, then I'm no longer really all that bullish on a, on a, on a daily basis. On a four-hour basis, um, you know, I am, I'm, I'm, I am also a little bit bullish. That doesn't mean, guys, that this is going to go from this point straight up okay there's going to be obviously corrections but on a four hour basis i am becoming a bit a, a bit more bullish now 
this very well could be one large A. We're going to have a B and there's going to be a C. But on a four-hour basis, I am, I, I am bullish. On a one-hour basis, um, on, a, on, a similar, on a similar fashion, um, but on a one-hour basis, um, if the market is to come down below like a, a like a 9,000, you know, 970, you know, we can almost call it 10,000. If it goes significant below, significantly below 10,000 on a one hour basis, then I'm going to not be as, as, as bullish anymore. Okay. So, um, those are kind of like, um, you know, uh, uh, ways in which I look at, at, I, I slice and dice the market as far as the time frame is concerned because um, everybody's trading these things on all the various different time frames and if you're like a trader like myself um, you're, do, you, you, you're, you're doing the same thing um, you're looking you're thinking in different dimensions and different different dimensions of time now again that does not mean that there's not going to be some sort of correction coming coming here we're looking at this on a one hour basis right now this very well could correct you know could correct co come back down okay but it's 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 the extent to which it retraces it's the extent to which it corrects all right let's look at things on a four hour basis really quick somebody asked me how i do that i right click here i click a reset chart and what it does is it turns this thing to auto right here it toggles it okay um so now it just you know it's it's pretty much locked if you want to unlock it you then kind of just go like this, and now it's unlocked, and you can move it around anywhere you want. So, um, <clears throat> four-hour basis, Laguerre RSI is 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 crossing up over here, and it's moving up. Notice that it's also at the bottom of this channel right here. All right. So on a four-hour basis, like I said, we are we are we are bullish. So um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I really need to mention right now. Nothing really else major. Um, 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 yeah, nothing else really major right now. Um, again, just to, to zoom out to show everybody where we are in the world, besides being Earth, um, is uh, this is is this line right here. Where we're possibly trying to make another another uh, retracement right here. Okay, so. I'm going to leave it there for right now. Um, and as, as I end this, I'm sure there's going to be something else I'm going to remember that I forgot to mention on the video. But uh, if so, I'll just comment it, uh, comment it down below. And um, yeah, that's it. Happy trading. Have a great day, guys. Speak to you soon.